This is a WTJX News Brief. During the governor's press conference, he spoke about violent crimes happening in the territory and how the community is going to have to step up. This weekend, we lost another Virgin Islander, KDN Illich. And several other Virgin Islanders were shot. And they just didn't happen to succumb to their wounds. And we offer our sincerest condolences to the parents of Kelvin and Desiree Illich on the passing of their beautiful daughter and to their entire family. And I don't want to single out this just loss, but every single loss is a pain to our community. Every single child is like my child and your child that could have been that one that's gone. It is time for us to step up and do what we have to do as a community. On this side, we're going to do the things that we need to do to root out these people in our community. But I need your support and I want snowballing. I want to say that we all want to see our community better, but it's our community. It's like complaining about the things in our house like somebody else gonna fix them. We have to be those people that step across the line and start ratting. We have to be the people that do it. And in this community, that's a bad word, but it's gonna have to be a good word if we're going to keep our children, seniors, and our friends, family, and loved ones safe. Here's some good news. There's been a decrease in positive cases of the COVID-19 virus in the territory, but we can't let our guards down. We have recently seen a decrease in positive cases, but we must still remain vigilant as even one case is too much. The highest mode of transmission remains close contact, so keep your mask on and avoid mass gatherings. The Department of Health has been tasked with protecting you from increased number of COVID-19 as well as others, other infectious diseases that lurk around us. We will continue to issue public health orders in in an effort to do so. This allows us to provide warnings that you may sometimes otherwise ignore. Our air and seaports, we have a mission as well with that. With the territory open for leisure travel, we have implemented stricter travel requirements. It is important that all travelers to the United States Virgin Islands, whether a resident returning from a vacation or a short trip, a former resident visiting family, or a tourist on a vacation, meet our travel requirements. All travelers age five and over must upload a negative COVID-19 PCR test result from a test taken within five days ahead of travel to the travel portal. This travel advisory, along with the travel portal, can be found at usviupdate.com. Everyone must follow the rules to keep us safe. So if your family is traveling back home, let them know that they are not exempt. That's your WTJX News Brief. I'm Doug Harris.